as we await the start of this penultimate race in tier three. Three lights, four lights, five lights. And we are away. Dust kicking up. Absolutely tons. We've got the Aston Martins at the front. Brilliant start. Williams behind as well. Just getting in into the first corner. Loads of absolutely tons of dust kicking up on this time round, which isn't going to be helping the visibility at all of the drivers further down the field. And we've got, we've got the two McLarens vying for that position there in seventh and eighth. Let's keep an eye on the field. So difficult, of course, to keep track of where everyone is on a tiny little map. Yeah, especially with oh, the Ewan's round! Ewan's Ooh. round! Spun round on the final... Oh, spun round on the absolute banking and... He dropped a few places, but still in the race. Still with that rain lurking means alternative strategies can definitely pay off. This is, of course, assuming that the drivers also have access Marken, to the weather report. Marken and Jack Bloke! Oh, that's immensely close to the rear end. He's just going to have to back up. On Wesley, gaining the position back. This could be a good strategy to bring the rain in. He probably might Ooh. go soft, soft. Red Bull, no front wing. Mm. Blank. Oh. He's blank the into the small groups. I think this time might be a bad call there for Marken because he's going to come back at P12. Oh. But however... Oh, sorry. There's the action, as you mentioned. Up the road there, there's TJD splitting the McLarens. He's also got sitting in the background. This is spicy. Baggy, but he's in, oh, he's in the mediums. I mean, Sandy Baggy's tires are going to start coming a little bit better in the play. Watching these guys in the softs just try to keep this car on the track here in Zanvo. It looks like it's it's run. Yep. Oh, no. I, I, Mercedes actually going for it. It's sitting on TJD Ooh, now. Yeah, 17 what kilometers shot. an hour. Bang. Done. Close the letterbox. Slow it down to the corner. And job done. Sometimes the game does get three percent right now. I got the tire performance graphic to come up there from Cody's. Thank you very much. Forty-three percent for Cine and Nicholas front left. So that's definitely getting close to keeping this on the track or not, guys. Basically using bump drafting. This isn't NASCAR. He's going round into the final corner. He's going to get that speed with the DRS. Both of them with the DRS, incidentally. That is the move made by Smorny, but that doesn't necessarily mean Wesley won't make the move back as all these drivers oh. are soft. What a last minute turn here. This Ooh. is dangerous. Somebody's going to... Oh, what? what has got this? Good wheel to wheel racing. Of course, we've seen it Ooh. all season long here for the tier three. We're seeing it again for the penultimate time this season. Going to catch up there. Market's making a run already. Ooh. That was a move by Sandy Buggy. On Marken, we've got the perfect view from Joke Bloke to see that battle going on behind. But I think also the have guys to be very careful of Joke Bloke in the background. Because he's got the softer yeah, rubber. Yeah. And look at that kerfuffle, my friend. One, yeah, two, three, four. four, five. Now almost into a couple of corners. This is spicy. We are going to see some potential dives. Joke Bloke going down the it's, it's getting chilly, actually, more than anything. But it's, it's heating up. We've got Smalley and Markham behind Sandy Baggy. Sandy Baggy potentially both going in. Both in. And I want to see what these both these drivers are going to put on their cars. Oh. Got the Aston in front, half the field going in. They've all realised. Oh, there's a collision the in the pit lane choice. entrance as well. Massive. Oh, no. I saw a bit of carbon fibre flying around everywhere. It's catching up with Joe. Maybe the ERS coming into play a little bit. As we always oh. see Markham back there, making an absolutely perfect move. Hayden Gullis up at a second. Yeah, because Joke Bloke made a mistake, man. A little yeah. bit of a lock-up and they had to pull off yeah. the side. Further back, I would not want to be in the field there. Mark and lurking in the background there. Behind Joke Ooh. Bloke now. As, uh, yep, that's uh, handy off somewhere. So the Alfa Romeo yeah, drops back. That looks like it's for Nicholas Swain. He's the off wall, into the moving. grass, my friend, here in uh, the Netherlands. Told you to lay off the grass. Sydney's got, the got the run on him if he gets that move. He's going to be very wide. Oh, oh no. Oh, there it is. Yeah. In that it's fence. Oh, no. It's going to hurt. Like a bull. But he's a prancing horse instead of a bull. And I tell you what, right now, if I'll Sandy Baggy you got to be just trying to focus on your own race. Don't even worry. Don't even think there's a Ferrari. Ignore it. Ignore there's a Ferrari behind you. Bring each other down. But there's the overspeed again. This time, Mark, into the grass. Good save there from Mark. That could have gone horribly wrong. 
It's actually working uh, Marken's tyres, but he's actually been punished because he's about 27% front he's left. He's going to have a heart rate on monitor. He's going to look behind him. Yep. The McLaren. Is he going to try and make the lunge? Yes, he is. What a move by the McLaren. Still on the inside. Immensely close to Marcus. Ahead. Into that bank's left-hander. That was almost a fantastic move by Sonny Wu. He was still going to have the run. Yeah, you know what this does now? It kind of like, it gives breathing space London. in Dutch coast weather rain. And we're trying to see whether or not Mark can get past Sandy Baggy. Sandy Baggy, you're not dumbing into the pits, mate, because we know you're not going in. Not going to fall for that one. <laughs> still need to go in that one. Hayden's time. And, and Hayden's, yeah, Hayden from P14. My if Hayden gets goodness. this race win from P14, P1, that's deserved. That'll be one of his best drives of the season for sure. Absolutely deserved if he can pull this off. But we've got Merck on. Apex a little bit. That is going to jump the time up to 4.7, 4.6. DM guys behind that back marker. He has the pull from the back marker. We just got to see whether Hayden can make that last quarter stick. It's still 200. He's climbing again. Can Hayden get across the line? Within the five seconds, I think he's going to make it. He just does, which gives Hayden the win for that race. What an absolutely brilliant drive by Hayden. Okay, what a great drive there from Sandy Baggy to, to do that. Sandy Baggy, because Sandy Baggy from P12 as well, had to hold off the men's second in the championship of Marken. It tried, 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 but it couldn't get it done, but the Ferrari will finish in P4. Absolute beast. There's a lot of but yeah, DM guy started on pole. So he, you know, he was expected to get around that result, but in the, in the boxing match right now, Hayden, and that's a <laughs> knockout blow for the that's... Ferrari driver. That's an immense race.